So he was my idea. Why, why build a boat as heavy? And, and uh, the last boat I built was actually maybe a little bit too heavy. A tremendous amount of fiberglass and uh, over over you know overdid the wood. It just it came out beautiful, and we we we, uh, we, we use it all the time. She uh, she goes really nice in the water, but we have to put a little bit more power to make it really go. And so I was thinking of how about an ultralight boat, something you could just throw up on top of the car, something you could just dump in the water anywhere you want, and uh, you could uh, maybe pedal it or oar it or something that you don't have to you know have it registered or just go out and have a good time. Maybe uh, stand up on it and paddle board it and. Uh, so we come I come up with basically the same design as my last boat, maybe a little bit bigger pontoons. Um, but the whole point of it would be to ultralight it, which means I used quarter inch plywood mostly and, um, and construction construction foam. And the construction foam works really well. The only thing is you have to really be careful when you're finishing it because it's really not that flat. But uh, other than that, it pretty works works pretty well. So I'm going to turn the camera around and take a quick video and show you what we got. Okay, so here's the end of day one, and uh, we got you can see that there's uh, two one-inch pieces of foam glued together, and then two on the outside, two on the inside, and they uh, they're glued to the quarter-inch plywood as the the uh, is the pontoons kind of, you know, or the catamaran style, right? And then um, the underside is pretty, pretty much all finished, as you can see in the pictures. And we're up to gluing up the uh, the pontoons. And there's probably like one more day's worth of work on this, shaping the pontoons, and then uh, sanding it all down nice and filling it and flaring it and. Uh, then we start fiberglassing it, and uh, so maybe uh, about a, week work, a week's worth of work. And we should have something a little bit different than the last one, where the last one we, we couldn't lift it up. But this one here, I could lift it up by myself. Uh, overall dimensions were 10 inch, uh, ten foot by uh, 3 foot. Uh, we got a little flare in the back, brings it out to uh, about 40 inches. And, um, and that's about it. It is, it is really super light. Uh, last time I, I weighed it, it was like 40 pounds, and um, and you know we did use some some wood as you could see. We used some uh, some three quarter inch plywood for uh, I, I call them like stringers because I like stringers on the boat and they're underneath and they're gonna get encapsulated with the foam and the fiberglass. But the uh, the quart the three quarter inch uh, pieces, even that I picked out the lightest boards that I could find, and. Uh, Quarter inch I used uh, from Home Depot, uh, the cheapest quarter inch lawn that they had. Just made sure that they were nice and straight. And uh, the, uh, the three quarter inch helps keep it straight that way also. Anyway, I think that's enough. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll update again tomorrow. So this first picture is where we first started. And then we added the uh, quarter inch plywood for the, for the pontoons and we started working on the top we flipped it over and we need a, a place to put an anchor or you know storage and stuff I put a couple of holes so my rod tips can get in there and it's starting to come into shape there you can see the deck is done and then we start putting the foam and we got first we start with two and then we go to four uh, four things of foam is pretty buoyant. And uh, this is where we left off. And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more tomorrow.